in Uptown Charlotte. And it's safe to say it was an electric atmosphere at Bank of America Stadium all night long, and it's continuing in Uptown Charlotte tonight, even hours after the game. And we have live team coverage tonight. We're going to start with reporter Ron Lee, who is in Uptown, where he's been talking with fans and others, giving us a close-up look at the atmosphere surrounding the game. Yeah, John, there was definitely a line in the sand drawn by the, the fans of these two franchises. And while Columbia was better represented by more people, it was very obvious what side of the line you fell on. This wasn't a night to flip-flop on which club you were with. You had your team and you're pulling for them. The goal tonight was to make sure everyone around you knew it as well. Oh, Columbia! Thousands of people crammed the streets of the French Quarter just blocks away from where the action was centered. But why were they here and not at the game itself? Because tickets were so expensive. Vita Kopal tells me tickets were going for around 300 bucks a pop. And while that seems pricey, others spent that much in other ways. But this isn't just a sport, it's a point of national pride. We are proud to be in Charlotte and to celebrate our heritage. Some pride was just a little louder than others. And gentlemen, start your engines! Many came from far and wide just for the experience. I'm originally from Zimbabwe, but Colombia, I love, uh, I go way back, you know, watching Colombian soccer. Some had a hard time containing their enthusiasm as well as their vertical center. We're going to win tonight! <laughs> the question is, who walks away with the gold and the glory tonight? Ask anyone here and you'll get this the same answer. Soccer. This soccer team? Come on. If I can root for anybody, this is them. And this is our time. Now, I did, did just talk to one CMPD officer who says they haven't seen crowds like this since the All-Star game, which means it's going to be an absolute nightmare for people pouring out of Uptown trying to get home, which means I may be spending the night at Romero Bearden Park. We'll have to wait and see on that. Live in Uptown Charlotte, I'm Ron Lee. WBTV, on your side. I would say I'd bring you a blanket, but I don't know if I could even get to you. But hopefully, Romero Bearden Park is kind to you tonight, Ron. Thank you so much. And our Cam Gaskins was also spending some time with fans from the winning side tonight. And he is joining us now from Uptown. Colombia number one. Next way, uh, Argentina. Argentina. Yeah. No, no, no go, no go, no go. Unbelievable. So, you know, very good, very good. Jello fever in here, man. It feels incredible. Um, I'm Colombian. My dad witnessed the 2001 win, so we've been waiting for this for a long time. Colombia, 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 Colombia. So we are big fans, and now we're headed to Miami, so we are incredibly excited. Just incredible feeling. <laughs> and now this sea of yellow is going to migrate south down to Miami for the Copa America final, going up against Argentina Sunday night. Now, as for what happened here against Uruguay, Nate Wembley will have more coming up in sports. But for right now, reporting in Uptown, I'm Cam Gaskins, WBTV, on your side. All right, thanks, Cam. We're going to have more highlights coming up from sports director Nate Wimberly later in the show.